Good morning, everyone. I am back with my second video. Um, as I stated yesterday, this is my day one on my meal program and stuff like that. And I forgot my water bottle to show you my water bottle. Can you run and get my water bottle, please? Thank you. Um, this morning for my first fueling, that's what it's called. It's called the fueling. I will be eating... Well, first, let me say that this is not a sponsored video at all. Um, but I'm going to be doing a creamy chocolate shake fueling. And I have a lot of these that are about to expire in the next few days. So I'm probably going to eat them all day for the next three days. Um, they do come with other fuelings, though like granola bars, some, um, some other different things that I'll show you throughout this. Um, so I guess we're going to go ahead and make this. Um, as you can see, I have cold water here for the thing, and I got to do eight ounces of it. I'm not going to put no ice in it, but there's, there's ice in the cup. And this is filtered water um, from my faucet. Um, so, let's see. Lord, 42 years old with bad eyes. So, all right. And I'm just mixing it with a shaker cup that came with the meal plan when I first um, ordered it from my health coach. I honestly do have an awesome health coach as well. Um, I got my water that I've been drinking. I'll probably drink about, well, two of these are 64 ounces. Like I stated yesterday, I'm supposed to be drinking a lot more than that, but I'll just start with the two of these a day and then gradually up it as we go along got the blender thing right there this the creamy chocolate shake This right here is 110 calories with 14 grams of protein and one gram of fat. Um, the fueling, the fuelings, they range from, I don't know, 100 calories to 110, I think. So with five of them a day, that's between 100 to 600 calories. And then whatever I make for my lean and green. So, I'm probably getting maybe a thousand calories a day. Could be less, could be a little more, give or take. Um, so, let's see. But I know this is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Um, I did actually take a picture and do a video of my weight so i will incorporate that in the video um of this morning um i feel pretty good about this right now um i guess we'll wait and see until my hunger starts kicking in <laughs> how i feel um so yeah this is my first feeling this is Probably about my third time starting this. I said in my last video, my very first video, that I start, stop, start, stop. And now I'm starting. <laughs> this is actually really good. I actually could drink five of these a day, which I am. Uh, um, I will actually... Check back with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. 
So, I know it was probably just an hour ago that I did my second video. And, um, it's only been an hour. Yeah, and I already want something sweet. But, I still got my water. Isn't this a cute little water bottle? It's, um, actually an autism. My baby girl is mildly. So, um, I got this. I love anything with autism on it. Um, but yeah. So, I already want something sweet. But this too shall pass. These cravings will pass. Definitely. Um, I'm actually sitting out in my truck at my daughter's appointment. Um, I think um, that's another thing that I find hard um, with my work schedule. I work for my county. Uh, I'm a school bus driver. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, school bus drivers have, um, most of us have split shifts. Um, we come in in the mornings, get our babies, you know, go pick them up, get them to school safely, then off for a few hours, then go back and do it again um, from school to home. Uh, so, you know, drinking the water and stuff, it's pretty difficult because it's not easy. You can't just pull the bus over <laughs> and go get something to drink with 70-something kids on your bus or 50-something, not even one kid on the bus. Um, you can't eat on the bus so um so that's difficult um like i said i had to eat every three hours eat them fuelings <sighs> so i just have to space it out in time um i actually started pretty late today um i probably normally should start probably around 5.30. So if I eat at 5.30, I won't eat again until 8.30. I'm still on the bus at 8.30, more than likely. Um, I could do it at 5.45, start my feelings at 5.45, then every three hours, and then see how that works. I just got to make it work. Got to make it do what it do. <laughs> Um, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I know I am. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed their Easter dinners and I hope everybody enjoyed Resurrection Sunday. I also did. You know, I do love the Lord. I love Jesus. He died on the cross for my sins. He is my personal savior. Um, and I just love him. Um. And I, I think the main reason why I love God so much, I love Jesus so much, is he gave me chance after chance after chance after chance to get it right. And he's still giving me another chance. I woke up this beautiful, beautiful day, uh, April 5th. I think it's April 5th um, of 2021. There's others that did not make it. <sighs> Bless their souls. Um... But yeah, God has given us another chance. Those that woke up on this side of, on this side, um, to do what we need to do, um, to walk in our purpose, um, to walk in our calling. Um, so I just thank God for that. Um, I know I don't cross every. T or dot every I cross every T. I struggle to in my spiritual walk, my Christian walk. Um, but I think everybody has their struggles. Um, so, yeah. But I just love Jesus. And I love you guys. 
You know, I love people. I am a people person. Um, I, I want to see people doing good. Um, I don't like to fuss. I don't like to fight. I don't like to argue. I don't like drama. I just wish we could all just be on top of the world. We all get along. Unity. I'm about unity. I'm about unity. Um, yeah. So, my cravings have gone away. So, um, and that was another thing, too. I loved dark sodas. Love dark sodas. I could drink probably about three 20 ounces a day of dark soda. I know like that's not good. I'm not condoning it. Matter of fact, I'm going to say this right now that it is only because of God. It is only because of God that I, as of today, don't have diabetes. I don't have high cholesterol. Matter of fact, I just made my appointment with my doctor to get all that stuff checked out. You know, it's good for us to get yearly physicals, get your blood work done, um, have your blood pressure checked. Um, so I have an appointment to do that on next Monday. Um, I will definitely keep you guys in the loop of that. Um, but yeah, but back to what I was saying, it is only because of the grace of God, God's love, his mercy, his grace, that I'm not sick. Um, you know, I do have some ailments, you know, like my, my bones hurt. I can tell my bones hurt. Um, and I've been told by a doctor, um, you know, that I need to lose weight. I do have degenerative arthritis in my back. And she said it will lighten up if I lo- if I lose weight. I failed to listen to her. That was about two years ago. Um, I got he- I'm since probably gained since she told me that probably gained about maybe fifty pounds more. Um, so yeah, I'm about two hundred and seventy five pounds. So I'm twenty. This is my heaviest I've ever been. So I'm twenty five pounds from 300 that's crazy that's real crazy um so yeah um I get up out my bed every morning like I can like hardly walk so I I think it's really time I think it's time that I you know do what needs to be done I'm gonna try I am going to put forth the effort to do this. Um, I know it's going to be hard. All good, good things that come don't come easy. So I know having health is that's a good thing if you have your health and strength. Um, so, um, Yeah, I think that's really about it. I was just checking in, letting you know my cravings and giving you a little inspiration and telling you just a tad bit, a little bit more about me. I know I didn't really discuss, you know, me, my first video, as far as like maybe my characteristics, my personality. I'm very quiet, very shy. So, I guess as I go along, I'll get more comfortable looking into the camera. <laughs> um, yeah. But, anybody else who's doing this, I commend you. Um, Anybody who struggled with their weight, man, we can do this. We got this. I know that 
we're gonna want to fall we're gonna want to give up <sighs> but I say before we give up we just try 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 our hardest try before we give up yeah we got this I'll check in with you guys later probably at my next fueling uh, I did my first fueling at 8 45 in the morning this morning so 11 45 will be my next one so that's in about two hours I'm gonna treat on I'm gonna keep on sipping on this clear juice right here I'm gonna call it my clear juice <laughs> and you know I'll talk to you guys later Good evening. Well, actually, it's good afternoon. Um, it's Tony back, aka Fat So. Um, I'm on my third fueling for this for today. I have two more fuelings and a lean and green. Uh, it's 2:45. Um, I definitely can say that I did start this day later than I should have because. This puts me eating my lean and green after, I believe, 7 o'clock tonight. Maybe even around 8 o'clock. And that's way too late for me to eat because I do suffer with acid reflux. And, you know, and that's not fun for my people out there that have acid reflux. You know it's not fun. Um. So, yeah, definitely I start back work tomorrow. The children are off. From spring break starting tomorrow so well, I'm kind of trying to see how this is gonna work as far as me finding time for my fuelings um, it's every three hours like I said um, and I don't want to get in a spot where I'm not able to do the fuelings because it's important that you're right on time every three hours not three hours and 15 minutes not three three and a half hours you might can do maybe 302 303 but no it needs to be close to three hours as um as close as you can get it um this is however my third water bottle so i've drunk two and a half of these already which is over 64 ounces. So that's going pretty good. Um, my fat burning stage. Um, I probably won't lose any weight. Probably maybe by the third day. I might lose a couple of pounds. Um, so. Yeah. Um, one of my best friends sent me a video she said she wasn't doing um youtube <laughs> so she sent me a video to well not to share with you guys i'm gonna share um i already told her you know sorry to do it to her but i was gonna incorporate it in this video because i think it's important to hear you know other people's you know issues that they have with um weight um you know how they stay motivated um even issues with life um that's my girl that's my best friend that's my sister we've been best friends since 2001 uh, i love her to death um you know so you'll hear her in a little bit um yeah, so I have three more meals to go. <laughs> three more. I'm going to cook some stuffed bell peppers. Um, <sighs> this is a time where meal prepping is good. Um... I'm new to this, and the reason why I say I'm new to this is, is 
is because I never follow through with all the other times I started. But I'll get it. I'll get it down packed. I need to go start me a list. I need to go through some lean and green recipes. Um, lean and green, lean and green recipes that I know I will eat. Um, and I need to go out and get the ingredients for them at least a week at a time. So I know I can schedule what I'm eating, um, for the day. Now the lean and green, it doesn't have to be a dinner meal. You could eat your lean. I could eat a breakfast. Um, it could be like my first fueling, um, and then I'll, well, it could be my first meal of the day, and then I could just do my five other fuelings for the day. Uh, it could be your lunch, um, and I think I would prefer to do my lean and green earlier in the day instead of late at night. Like I said, if you suffer from acid reflux like I do, um, I don't want to eat too late at night. So, yeah, um, and this is not a sponsored video, by the way, um, but the company that I am choosing to, um, do has a good workbook. It's called the Life Book. Um, in it, we learn different different elements. And like I stated, I am definitely new to this because this is the first time that I've gotten past element two. So I'm actually about to start element four in this book. Um, and just three had some awesome advice. Um, I really do think that if I would have stuck with this book, that I probably wouldn't have stopped the first time. Um, cause it, it teaches you how to set goals. Um, it teaches you how to set one big goal and then you have, um, stepping stones to reach the big goal. So, and it's nothing, it's nothing that's too big. Um, so even on a day that you lack motivation, you're able to do it because the, your stepping stone is so small. Um, so that's a good thing. I wish I would have known that last year. <laughs> um, just to keep on working through my 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 life book. Um, so yeah. So it's a beautiful day out here. It is gorgeous out of here. I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Thank God. Thank God for the job. Thank God that he is the source and he provides the resources. Um, so, yeah. So, well, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Just watching the children play out here <laughs> for their last day. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit tired though. Tired. I don't know if I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't get that much sleep at night. So, but I'll check back in with you guys later. I'm gonna finish this up drink some more water and continue in my life book thank you hey um i'm not gonna do youtube <laughs> but um i will send you a video of when i'm working out i am walking um every day close to every day um and i am down to 2 30 from 2 40 in two weeks that took two weeks um it's not easy so i understand your struggle but i also know that um you're capable of doing whatever you put your mind to and my biggest thing is just prayer 
because like last night I had um some rice some chicken fried rice for my birthday and girl like I'm swollen today because that was my first like what's that thing called carb filled food like rice breads pastas they don't work for me um and keto is not as crazy as i thought it was gonna be like i thought it was gonna be really hard like look at these rolls honey these rolls no they don't look good on my neck uh -uh. but i do wake up and be like god i can't do this today i'm gonna have to lean on you and i get through the day so what i should have done was not eaten rice last night <laughs> yeah right um so i'm about to go hit this run uh, excuse me walk and I try to do a half a mile in 15 minutes sometimes I make it under sometimes I make it just over but um Tony you're just gonna have to get into your self and say yeah I'm gonna do this for me nobody else and when you get fed up trust me it'll happen maybe like once a month we should meet we should I can't even talk we should meet up and do you know a walk because you be just setting everywhere <laughs> okay bye. okay so if you put me on whatever you have you do try to get my good side which is all dark filter me that dark thing <laughs> i just want to say that um sometimes it's difficult walking out here because but <laughs> i'll be old shoot with my ms <laughs> I broke knees um, this past year with Elijah's passing was not easy and the depression got to me and I ate and I would eat and I would eat and I would like gorge myself girl like I didn't even realize <clears throat> what I was doing that like in the moment it just felt like what the, what, what, what am I supposed to live for? Um, and my son was gone and the emotions were like, emotions I've never felt before. <laughs> I've never had a child die. And I found comfort in food because I could sit down and just eat. And it didn't matter what I ate. I could have drank water all day. I still would have gained weight because the depression was very real and it was very raw. And when you go through traumatic things, your body <clears throat> reacts in different ways. So the last traumatic thing that I had went through, I had lost like 60 pounds and I was incredibly thin and scary looking. Well, this time my body said, we're not gonna, we're not gonna die off. So let's plump you up so you don't die. <laughs> At least that's how it is. It was explained to me that way by my therapist. So I enjoy my walks because it gets me out the house, gets me out the kitchen. And when I go back home, I have a positive outlook. So hope that all helps. Good afternoon. Well, evening, everyone. I just finished my fourth fueling for the day. There's no changes to report. It's the fourth one. Yep. It's all done. Still drinking my water. This I'm still working on the third one. Still working. That's about it. Um, I don't think I'm going to get on the scale tomorrow because I know it's probably no change there. So, two more meals to go. Two more. Two more. In a lean and green. Well, one fueling in a lean and green. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, talk to y'all later.